Our nation has a pandemic of homelessness in our country. And now with 33 million people out of work and potentially not having jobs to return to, this could become a major, major crisis. What does the Bible have to say about reacting to the homelessness pandemic? Join our special guest as he comes online and shares that answer with us. I'm here with my good friend and fellow evangelist Don Perkins of According to Prophecy Ministry. Uh, Don, I got to go out and be blessed and visit one of your conferences out in the San Diego area, and I was shocked how many homeless people you have in yes. your city. Clearly, uh, and it's becoming a pandemic, a homeless yes. pandemic across the nation. Can you tell a little about your experience in San Diego and what this means uh, from a prophetic perspective? I believe this is a homeless pandemic. You think about it. We're in a we're in a blessed, prosperous nation. We're in a nation that can uh, they can they can they can issue twelve hundred dollar stimulus checks to every American citizen, but we have homelessness. Uh, when I see that, every time I see that, I mean, and now because here in San Diego, it's not a crime to be homeless, so now they don't really bother them. So as a result of that, we have a lot of homeless encampments all around the city. Uh, I mean, under uh, interstate highways, I mean, you know, homeless encampments, you know. But when I see that, what I think about, I say, now, this is the judgment of God. This could be the judgment of God upon America. We have a rich, prosperous nation, but yet we have this, this pandemic of homelessness. It's almost hard to accept sometimes, knowing how prosperous this nation, this nation is, to see this. And again, I, I believe this, too, uh, is a sign of the time. Uh, mankind has, has given up on life. He, uh, he, he does not, many don't want to accept Christ or surrender their life to Christ. And as a result, they've gone down skid row or whatever. But here in California and across the nation, I've talked to other pastors around the nation, and they too have talked about this pandemic of home uh, homelessness. And again, you know, some people, you know, because of jobs or whatever, we, we know uh, everybody's not there because of uh you know, drugs or whatever, but but it's such an epidemic now, uh, Nathan. That uh, I really believe that it's it's a sign of the time uh, on this nation. What do you think? Uh, obviously, with 33 million people out of work in the United States right now, hopefully they have jobs to come back to after this COVID yes. crisis is over. Yes. Obviously, the I mean, the natural logical result would be that this homelessness crisis is is only going to continue to get worse and worse. What should be the church's response? Well, again, I think the church, as I said before, that the church is essential. I think the church should have always been a part of this situation, dealing with the, the COVID-19 and, and everything. Uh, and now with, with people out of work and stuff, you know, the church, uh, we need to really step up, step up to the plate. Uh, uh, now, many churches are, you know, providing food and everything, you know. Uh, I do think that the, the, uh, the nation as a whole need to really consider how much, the, how much of a load the church can really take. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, the church can take a lot of this load, uh, a, a lot of the resources versus going to the abortion clinics. Th that resource should be coming through the church because the churches are better equipped to handle this. Because not only do we deal with the, the, the natural feeding of them, but we deal with the emotional side. We deal with the spiritual side uh, of homelessness and we can help people get out of that. You know, so uh, I think the church should be a vital part of this situation. Uh you know, and the government need to consider that. Absolutely. And it's frightening to think that everybody keeps going to the government looking to fix our problems, but that's yeah. what the church is for. And that's what charities are for. They're to, yes. and that's what, that we're the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. We bring the cup of cold water to people. Uh, yes. And so this is a great ministry opportunity as well. So uh, folks, if, if you are looking at this crisis, you're seeing the homeless people out there, instead of stepping over them, why don't you step yes. to them and find out how you, how you can help them. It's only going to get worse. And it's amazing how the Christians in the Roman Empire in the early years, despite persecution, they were the ones that were helping the, the outcasts of society, the babies that were thrown out into the fields. They were the lepers. Them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Christianity mm -hmm. has made an impact and changed the world by showing Christ's love. Thank you, Amen. Don, so much for making that clear for us.